in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Nice to see you all today. Today we're celebrating the feast of St. Francis de Sales, a bishop and doctor in our church. And as we celebrate these sacred mysteries, the Mass is being offered for Hazel Wally. So to prepare ourselves, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to all my God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I am greatly sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and even my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Please bow your heads and pray in silence for Hazel Wally. O God, who for the salvation of souls will that the Bishop St. Francis de Sales become all things to all, Graciously grant that following his example, we may always display the gentleness of your charity we may, in the service of our neighbour, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. All the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, Here we are, your bone and your flesh. In days past, when Saul was our king, it was you who led the children of Israel out and brought them back. And the Lord said to you, You shall shepherd my people Israel and shall be commander of Israel. When all the elders of Israel came to David in Hebron, King David made an agreement with them there before the Lord, and they anointed him king of Israel. David was 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned for 40 years, seven years and six months in Hebron of Judah, and 33 years in Jerusalem, over all Israel and Judah. Then the king and his men set out for Jerusalem against the Je Jezbusites, who inherited the region. David was told, You cannot enter here. The blind and the name will drive you away. Which was their way of saying, David cannot enter here. But David did take the stronghold of Zion, which is the city of David. David grew steadily more powerful, for the Lord of hosts was with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with you. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with you. Once you spoke in a vision, and to your faithful ones you said, on a champion I have placed a crown, over the people I have set a youth. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with you. I have found David my servant with my holy oil, and I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with you. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand upon the sea, his right hand upon the rivers. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. Please rise. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. 
And by the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if Satan is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan is risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property, unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder his house. Amen, I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they have said, he has an unclean spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For the renewal of our church, that all people will have a living, loving relationship with Jesus Christ, especially for Catholics, that they may become missionary disciples and have a living relationship with Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the many Catholics who have left the Catholic Church, for the many Catholics who don't practice their faith, May the Holy Spirit kindle in them the fire of God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for God's guidance, so that we can hand on the faith to our young people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the upcoming um, missionary programs and processes that we have in our diocese, especially for Ananias and uh, the uh, seven pillars of effective evangelization. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the continued success of our new church, and we pray for our crucifix, who is making his journey uh, from uh, San Antonio to Mississippi today, and we pray for the safety of all people traveling in this bad weather. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we thank for your blessings. Help us to live in your love this day, to be truly missionary disciples, and to bring others to Jesus through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of us, the Holy Church. Through the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, kill in our hearts that fire of the Holy Spirit, with which you wonderfully inflame the most gentle soul of St. Francis de Sales, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Francis de Sales, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and kept her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing to him of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in our highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And today I've got two beautiful 
quotes from St. Francis de Sales on the Holy Eucharist. I often speak with my teacher, Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, because I can learn from him. Jesus is the teacher of the science of holiness. I go to him because I would like to learn from him how to become a saint. When you have received him, stir up your heart to do him homage. Speak to him about your spiritual life, gazing upon him in your soul, where he is present for your happiness. Welcome him as warmly as possible and behave outwardly in such a way that your actions may give proof to all of his presence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy here for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me, my Lord and my God. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this chalice, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church bread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be choirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look down on our sins, for on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with you your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. He said, be sorry. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my mind, though I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to govern the church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that firmly directed she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere on the journey of faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.